Hello friends, today we are going to be planting bulbs for the spring. We've got about how many bulbs? Oh, probably 200 or so. 200 bulbs to plant today. Today is an unusually warm day for this time of year, so we figured it would be the best day to get this done. Um, we got off work a little bit early to, so that we could get it done while the weather was nice. And uh, what colors are we putting in? We're gonna put double daffodils here along the uh, driveway. And then I have uh, miniature daffodils here and I have another bag of doubles that we're gonna put across this way. Then we also have tulips. We have white, we have a salmon, purple, yellow, and then I think a mix. And then uh, we have some white ones for the white bed back in the back. So we are gonna go ahead and get started and we hope you join us. daffodils and they're a double um, multicolor yellow white um, double daffodil and we planted 90 of them we put about 40 along this side here by the driveway and then we have about 50 along this lane right here on the sidewalk on the other side of the sidewalk I already have daffodils so hopefully then we'll have the matching sides come spring it should look really nice and we're going to go ahead and just give you a big, uh, cute tour of the, like an up-close tour of the area right quick. Along the driveway here is grape hyacinth, and we planted the double daffodils behind the grape hyacinth, and behind that are boxwoods. So that will give, hopefully when they fill in, we'll have a nice little... Uh, and this is kind of what that area looks like from the driveway. And this, this will be all filled in next spring with the grape hyacinth and the daffodils and then the boxwoods. Right behind. And then on this, are you, on this area, the same thing. We have the grape hyacinth in the front and the boxwoods behind that. And then the whole front bed will be revamped. I have at last roses. I'm going to keep the um, Russian sage and I'll have daylilies through there. So this is kind of just a view of um, this bed up front here that we just planted those bulbs in. Like Marlene just said, it'll be totally revamped. Just give you a better look of it. Show them the card, Marlene. Oh, here's the daffodils we planted. Double daffodil mixture. Yellows, whites, creams, a little bit of orange in there. And those colors are gonna look really great next to that grape hyacinth. 
So in this garden over here, we just planted some peach. 42 of them. Tulips, these uh, very pretty pink peachy tulips. They're all kind of just in this area around all of these different uh, shrubs. Shrubs. And I had some already planted, so this will just add to them. And we will um, keep on going to the next set. <laughs> Okay, so this back behind us is the white bed we're always referring to. We just planted uh, these beautiful white tulips. Um, planted about 42, 45 of them in little drifts of three to five and uh, just going around the shrubs. And what else do we have to do? The uh, Do you want to give them a look at this bed real quick? I have a beauty bush here and some little lime hydrangeas. I have a white carpet rose a white azalea there's some white coneflower in here and white um columbine uh, um veronica and let's see what else do we have um i had a white uh dahlia that i need to get dug up yet and we have this blue spruce and Oh, and then the Boltonia. All right. I think all we have left are some purple bulbs. Yes. That we're going to plant in the Evergreen Garden. So we're going to go ahead and head that way. lighter purple here and then we had the darker um, larger purple tulip here and so we put two bags of each so 28 of each in here we planted them in clusters of three to four I think maybe some had five um, so it's all along here this is our evergreen bed um, <laughs> has uh, I have I have a black pussy willow in here I have a couple um, service berries. I have a couple red twig dogwoods, some Alberta dwarf Alberta spruce, some boxwoods over here. This wild monster shrub needs to come out and put another boxwood in there. And then I have in the back there's a nine bark. Um, and I have a few iris in here and some, um, let me think, what else? A couple walkers low, Nepeta. 
And for the bulbs, we kind of just spread them out into these areas right here. Like we use this area right here kind of as the framing piece. So there's a couple clumps there and then we kind of just worked our way out on that side and then on the other side. What are these beautiful things with the really pretty leaves? Um, the ones here in the front, those are service berries and the one right behind are the red twig dogwoods. Okay, those are very pretty. Very nice uh, winter color, or excuse me, fall colors. And if you can see back in the back, there's those marigolds that we saw the other day that are still looking just beautiful as ever. And it's November 5th. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, we have one more section to plant. It's some yellow bulbs actually in this area just back right behind us, right over there. And then we'll be done for the day. So we're going to head over there and then get out of here. Here are the yellows that we planted in this bed. Thank you for joining us. I think it's going to look wonderful this spring and we'll keep you posted.